Hey everyone, my name is Sirk and welcome back to another episode on the Decidedly Vanilla server. I got quite a few things I want to get done today, starting off with Carl here. Carl, the super friendly cactus that Fwip gave us last episode. Uh, I moved him off of our squid farm over here to our town center. Uh, this isn't going to be his final resting spot. I think, I think I might put him up on that hill, sort of watching over the town. I do want to keep him. Um, I think that might be the best spot. Uh, if you have a better spot in mind around here where to put him, uh, let me know. But uh, for now, he's in the town center because it is almost Christmas. We are like a week away, and I want to get some decorating done around here. Uh, did I mess up him? Oh, yeah. there's. Uh, I think I'm missing a block right there. <laughs> he's kind of got a hole in his mouth. Um, but, yeah, it, we, we want to do some decorating today for Christmas. So instead of a Christmas tree here in our desert city we're gonna have a christmas cactus we're gonna decorate carl up uh make him look a little bit more festive so i have a bunch of uh red white and lime green concrete and to start off we're going to give carl a little hat oh yeah that's looking real nice i like that santa hat so now uh i think the next thing i want to do is add a scarf for him gets a little chilly here at night in the uh, the desert cold. Uh, let's see, how do we want to start this? Let's just start it back here. Maybe we'll start it right here. Um, so we're going to do like alternating green, white, and red. Uh, should I just do straight all the way across? Is that what we want to do? Maybe I'll adjust it afterwards if uh, if it doesn't quite work. And I'm doing kind of just a, a slight diagonal pattern. Hopefully that turns out all right here. Hmm, that's not bad. It does look a little strange since his arms are above the scarf. Uh, the scarf kind of goes under his armpits. But his arms are kind of coming out of the side of his face. So there's not, uh, there's not much I can do with that. But I think that looks pretty neat. And Carl here is looking fantastic. Very festive. Gave him a candy cane in one hand and a little gift box, a little present in the other one. I love it. <laughs> These look so good. Uh, the last thing I want to do is take out some of the sand and replace it with snow around him. Make him feel a little bit more uh, at home in his wintry, uh, wintry setting. And I think we are done. We got a nice little mixture of snow and packed ice here on the ground. Very nice. <laughs> I love it. I think it turned out so good. Uh, happy uh, happy holidays, Carl. Next, I want to head on over to spawn, but before we do that, uh, let's stop here at Fwip's base and leave him a little message. I wrote him a note, so we'll do our cyan block there on the fence, and I have a little thank you message for him. So, uh, dear peasant, I mean Fwip, uh, thank you for... Turning over the cactus contraband, your co uh, cooperation with his royal dynas has been much appreciated. The Die King also thanks you for your token of friendship. Carl, the friendly, non-threatening cactus, has been a welcome addition to the Die Capital. Uh, we look forward to our continued partnership and your continued support of the royal dynasty in the years to come. Colorfully, the one true appointed by the color gods, Die King. Uh, so last episode, he left us tons of cactus around our base. And uh, he, he was paying his taxes by, by you know, <laughs> quote unquote, pranking us with tons of cactus. Uh, but obviously, obviously, he was just doing his part. He was uh, turning over the cactus that we had uh, requisitioned, delivering it to our base. Very nice. And uh, then he built us Carl the cactus, the, the very friendly, definitely not aggressive or mean, angry looking cactus. He's a very friendly, non-threatening cactus. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just I just want to thank him for uh, for going along with this and uh, for shutting down his cactus farm, which apparently he definitely has done. You know, look how shut down it is. Uh, I'm I'm glad he's uh, he's respecting the wishes of the Die King. He he's uh, a great supporter of ours. So the reason I wanted to come to Sea Haven is because of uh, this right here. We have a new shop coming to town. Uh, coming soon. Need rockets to fly around? The Rocketry, future home of. So BJW is open up a rock, opening up a rocket shop. Uh, 64 three-second rockets for one diamond. That is a steal. 
uh, and I will have to take him up on that. I'm running pretty low. I don't have a ton of gunpowder. I was actually thinking about making a, uh, a mob farm near my base so that I have uh, gunpowder all the time. But now that we have a shop to sell us rockets, uh, I might not need to worry about that. So let's head on over to the die shop. Uh, I have my ender chest there with some diamonds and I need some dyes for today. And what is this? We will die free or die down with King. <sighs> Come on kids. We don't need no graffiti around here. You don't need to ruin the look of the town. <laughs> uh, so apparently there's some people on the server who, uh, who aren't quite happy with the whole die King thing. I'm not sure why. Uh, I guess not everyone can be, uh, be a, a good old buddy like Fwip. Uh, not everyone respects the the authority, those in authority, but whatever. Uh, people are still buying dyes from here. I think I saw. Yeah, I need to restock. Uh, we do have some gone. Oh, yeah, lots of light gray dye. So we're still getting business. That's great. And uh, let's see what we got in here. Oh, yeah, 11 diamonds. That is fantastic. So let's grab some cyan wool. Or not wool dye. Uh, we'll do that. And some cyan here. Whoops. Put that back. Great. Oh, looks like there's some changes going on next door. What do we got here? New management coming soon. The Free Dye Society. What? Okay, this is getting out of hand. Like, I know I was trying to force a monopoly, but I wouldn't mind competition. Giving out dyes for free, though, that's just insanity. I can't compete with that. They're trying to put me out of business. This is... This is my entire life, is the dice. Uh, these guys, I don't know. I don't know. They're, uh, they're going a little crazy over here. Uh, but anyways, let's head over here, and I will take two stacks of fireworks, and there are your two diamonds. I, th I still think that's pretty cheap. I would uh, raise the price on that. Um, but that is great. Now... Like, before, I, I didn't fly around too much just because I was sort of uh, using these sparingly, trying not to run out. But now we can fly around as much as we want. This is fantastic. For the rest of the episode, we're going to be working over here at the Guardian Farm. That's why I needed the cyan and orange dyes for. Uh, so I've been doing quite a bit of work. We got four working platforms, and as you can see, we got the, the Guardian spawning. Uh, I want to do at least two more. I got them marked out. Whoops. Oh, don't die. <laughs> uh, climbing up ladders backwards is a little tricky. Um, but yeah, I went and chopped down a bunch more trees, so I got some more logs to finish this thing up. Uh, we have quite a bit of concrete made up already, and I got dyes so that I can make a few more. And yeah, I'm just going to get to work. Going to get these two platforms done at least. Uh, and maybe I'll make a f couple more. Maybe we'll go all the way to the top, which would probably be, uh, I guess that would be probably like four more platforms after these two, maybe. Uh, I don't know if we really need that much, but, uh, let's just see what we get done today. Well, we now have eight layers on this baby, so it's working pretty well. That's quite a bit of spawning space, uh, and I think that is going to be it. We could maybe put two more layers on here, um... But I think eight is enough. We'll see how it goes. We are going to do a test here pretty soon. But I want to, first of all, just thank uh, BJW for doing so much work on this. I mean, he's the one who uh, got rid of most of the water, uh, probably 90% of the water in here, placed down all the sand around there. Uh, he helped me build a few of these platforms. Um, he slabbed out that bottom so we don't have any slimes. He put a roof up here which is going to help the efficiency of this because uh, the guardians are more likely to spawn when they are not in sunlight, which actually I'm kind of wondering why they're not spawning there, <laughs> why we're not seeing any. That's kind of strange. But uh, And then he's also done the AFK room, which we can go check out the collection room down here. Uh, there's just a little bit that I want to get done today yet, and I think I'm going to do that while I'm doing the, uh, the efficiency test. So here is our AFK room. Very nice with some prismarine. The black looks pretty neat. A little archway. Very cool. We got all of the uh, items ending up here. Shards, crystals, cooked fish, raw fish. He, uh, he put a lava blade up there. I don't know if we can see it. No, you can't quite see it. But there's a lava blade up there. Something I've never thought about. But if you do that, then the guardians catch on fire. And when they die, you automatically get cooked fish right away. 
uh, which is awesome. So we have tons of food here. Um, I've emptied out these chests, crafted a bunch of blocks. So we have uh, we have a bunch of block storage over here. The dark prismarine, the regular prismarine. We got, uh, or I guess prismarine bricks, regular prismarine, and then the sea lanterns over here. Um, so I'm going to work on this drop shaft and get this all uh, prettied up, get, get that changed out from stone. And while I do that, I'm going to see how many items we end up in this thing uh, and figure out how many items per hour we're getting, see what the efficiency is on this. All right, I got the drop shaft all cleaned up, so that's looking nice. And I've been AFKing here for about half an hour, and this is what we got out of that. I tallied it up already, and we got a little over like 1,500 items. Uh, so about 3,000 items per hour. Not too bad. I'd like to be getting closer to like five or 6,000. Um, but like adding a couple more layers to this thing isn't going to really affect it. That's what's going to affect it. You just heard that zombie. Uh, we need to make sure that all the caves are lit up. And that's what's really going to uh, to make this thing work a little bit better. Hello, creeper. I'm not sure where he came from. If he spawned there or if he spawned somewhere else and fell down here. Oh, he's still there. He must have spawned there because if he, if he fell down, he would have uh, taken some damage. And that arrow would have killed him. Um... So yeah, we just need to light up caves and make sure that everything uh, is lit up and there's no mob spawning anywhere else. That's really the only thing to do left uh, to make this thing work a little bit better. And then uh, we've got to replace the sand wall, which um, I think we were talking about doing glass. Just putting a nice glass wall around the whole thing. Not entirely sure. I'll have to figure out what we want to do with that and then uh, we should be done with this thing. I mean, it's working. Just uh, some finishing touches. So that's pretty cool. I like it. And I think that is going to do it for us today here on the Decidedly Vanilla server. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like. Leave a like for Carl the Christmas Cactus. Uh, this is great. I love him so much. Thank you, Fwip, for building him. Fwip, our, our good buddy, our, our best partner here on the server. He's in uh, total agreement with our whole di die monopoly stuff. Uh, that, that guy's a good guy. Uh, anyways, we'll see you next time. Goodbye, folks.